Oh my days, I feel new to this again. I feel new to this, man. I'm taking so much time off. Damn. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another Division 2 video. And as you can tell today, man, damn, look at this fit. This ain't, this ain't me, okay? This is not me. And if you guys are new to the channel, I do a series called Build for Subs. I make builds for my subscribers on PS4 only. So if you're looking into me, you know, making you a build, any sort of build, a PvE or PvP build, just follow me on Twitter. You must follow me and DM me, hashtag addiction builds. My Twitter will be on the screen right now and it's also in the description below. But yeah, guys, we're just going to get into this today. He said he doesn't really mind what build he wants, but, you know, I don't really want to give him that choice because look at this clothes. Look at that. Look at this disgusting let's just see his builds you know mm. any guns that we can get rid of yeah maybe if we can just uh mark that as junk and uh we will deconstruct yep yeah, that's done I'm joking guys i would never do that I, I, I would never do that okay but yeah let's just get into this i'm not too sure what he wants but we're just gonna go in this stash and we're gonna look through the pieces that he has attributes and roles and we're just gonna put some pieces together as a template and then i'm gonna get back to you guys Okay, so we've made the template for this build. Now, what I'm trying to do with this is I'm trying to have three blues, three reds, armor, and crit chance, crit damage, just to, you know, keep you alive and to still hit hard. But some of the pieces, I'm just not there for him. I checked throughout his whole stash. I've checked his character. So I'm going to tell him what he needs to farm for. But for now, we're just going to optimize this by recalibrating the attributes and, you know, just putting mod slots where they should be. So let's just check what the stats are now without any recalibration or changes. We're sitting at 43% crit chance and 127% crit damage. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the recalibration station and we're going to figure out what pieces we want to, you know, change. We want three reds, three blues. So the knee pad, we're going to keep the core attribute as a red. And we're going to roll armor regen for crit damage. So let's just do that first. Lovely. <laughs> All right. And so for the backpack, we're going to keep this as a red as well. But we're just going to change the talent from concussion to versatile. Versatile is one of my favorite backpack talents, and I'm sure he will love this on there. For the holster, we're just gonna roll crit chance instead of headshot damage. We're gonna keep this as a red, so let's just do that. We're looking good. I think we're looking good so far, you know, as a template. I will tell him what to improve on, but for the mask, we got 15% weapon damage on here, but we want some more armor. So we're going to change this one to a max piece. That's nice. Good to see that he's got a max armor roll there. So that's changed. And then we're going to go to the glove and we're going to change this from weapon damage to armor as well. Another max roll. It's nice. It's nice to see that you guys are farming your stats correctly. Okay, so as you can see, we got three blues and three reds. Now, what are we sitting at for in terms of crit chance, crit damage? We're sitting at 49.5% crit chance and 139% crit damage now. So, I'll show you what I've kind of done. We've got Unbreakable, we've got three piece Providence, we've got a Petrov and a Badgeta. Now, what I would like to do with this, he could run a shotgun and an LMG because of the two pieces that will help with versatile when you switch between the two. However, what I would do with this build for him is I would change the backpack to a Sokolov and a chest piece to a Sokolov. Why would I do that? Is because that would give us 15% critical hit damage. Then he can go towards the SMG like the Vector. You know, I'm sure I saw one in his stash, but that's just an example. And if we did that, he would be hitting so much harder in terms of crit damage. We're just going to put some mod stocks here. So let's just put, say, some crit chance. Let's put 5.4% there. Let's check what we are for crit chance now. We're sitting at 54%. And for me, anyway, I'd say that's reasonable. That's fine. Anything above 55%, I think is good. So we're going to put some crit damage there. And we'll put another crit damage on this backpack here as well. Let's just find a good amount. Is there 11.2? I'm sure. Oh, okay. 11.3. All right, so what are we sitting at now? We're sitting at 54% crit chance and 162% crit damage with 1.2 million armor. As I said before, he can, you know, use a shotgun and an LMG if he likes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the specialization. We're going to go to firewall and we're going to activate the firewall specialization because right now everyone knows the firewall medkit 
is one of the most OP things in the game right now. It's going to help you to survive much longer in PvP. I suggest you using the Firewall Specialization because it's going to help. Now, if you guys would like to know the improvements for this build, I would have three blues, three reds. I would have a three piece Providence, which has armor and crit damage, crit chance rolled on all of the attributes. Then I'd have one group of piece, which has weapon damage and crit chance, crit damage. Then I would have two Sokolov pieces, which have weapon damage and crit chance, crit damage. But in terms of the talents, I would use versatile on the Sokolov backpack and I would use efficient on the Sokolov chest. That's how I would go about this build because I think that's the best way to run it as of now in this game. But what we're going to do is we're just going to get out a shotgun just in case he might want to use it with this build. So we'll just go in the stash. We're going to see if he has any good shotguns. If not, then I mean, he can look into it. Super Knight is on the way to go. That's a pretty okay roll. Uh, okay, it's cool. So that like optimist on a build like this would be nice. So let's just change that. He can run it like this. Change the Eagle Bear out for a shotgun and he can switch between the LMG and the shotgun because we got Bagetov which is giving us 10% shotgun damage and you know the Petrov which is giving us 10% LMG damage. If he really wants to go towards you know the core damage that he's going to be getting from these pieces then he could go with the LMG and a shotgun but for me I'd still go with an Eagle Bearer and say a Vector. That's how I would do it because I still feel like I'm going to be hitting hard anyway but if you just want to you know cater towards what your pieces are then you can do that. I'd run it like this with the Eagle Bearer and the Vector. He hasn't got the best mod slots for the guns as well. I must say, you know, 10 rounds wouldn't be enough. So we need 20. You can have the specialization from the firewall, which gives you 10% crit damage, but he hasn't unlocked that yet. So there's some stuff that he can, you know, improve on this build. But let's just say if we were using a Vector and we had the right pieces, we're sitting at 60% crit chance and 147% crit damage. But Eagle Bearer was sitting at more. All right, so you know what we always do. We always test the build out. So we're just going to go in a game of conflict and see how this does. I mean, I'm not expecting something amazing as the build is not finished and not how I think it should be run. But we're just going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. I also want to say, guys, if you're enjoying this video and you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out on this channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button it really does help out the channel as you guys know i'm trying to hit 7k subscribers very soon so i would appreciate it if you guys would just help out on the journey Alright guys, so I did do some testing conflict and I have to say I did forget to use the shotgun and the LMG. I used the Eagle Bear and the LMG instead. Um, yeah, that's my bad, but yeah, I would say that's the way to run it with this build at the moment. But I did say the improvements before and I will tell him. But if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of this series every Monday, I didn't get to do it yesterday, so I'm bringing it to you on Tuesday, which is today. 
hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i would appreciate it a lot and if you want to get involved in this series follow me on twitter and dm me hashtag addiction builds my twitter is on the screen right now and it's in the description so make sure you guys do that if you want to get involved it's ps4 only i appreciate all the support on the channel spin division addiction we got some couple videos coming this week i'm going to keep you updated on the channel and the community tab so make sure you look across there as well peace